but then it happened again, and the doctor said he's dehydrated. But but look at this. This is just last week. What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. Right. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Okay. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. I mean, it really is just insane. It's as if I was speaking and then. Dave, if somebody has a question, please speak up. Oh, okay. You see what we did there, guys? Emmy Award winning Ruben Report. Alex, anything else on this? It's just sad. I mean, he needs to really get some. If, if that's how he's acting in public, imagine what he's like behind closed doors. I mean, I only imagine that is much worse and probably has a nurse with him all the time. I mean, really sad. Isabel, what do you think about just sort of like the generational shift on this, that it's this baby boomer, gen that he's not even baby boomer, I mean, he's, he's from, I guess, what they call the greatest generation before that, but they are hung, uh, hanging on so long, yeah. or I guess he's the top of the boomers, supposedly, but whatever it is, like these people are just hanging on so long that they haven't let the Gen X guys, the, the say, 35 to 55-year-olds who should be in charge right now, really take over. Thus, it pushes your generation back further. And, and that really is almost the genesis of all of our problems right now. It is. And I always like to remind myself when I get frustrated thinking, how could somebody possibly just want to keep doing this over and over for the rest of their life? The only thing that's more corruptible than money is power and absolute power corrupts absolutely, which is why you see our second oldest Senate since 1789, our third oldest house uh, in all time American history, because these people grab onto power and they just can't let go and eventually do become a vessel for other people to seek power in Washington, D.C. I never noticed this in that second clip until I just saw it again from Mitch McConnell that his aide, his staffer actually winks at the camera. We're going to need a minute, guys. Mm -hmm. So it's this open joke that we're all aware of and everyone's thinking, but nobody's willing to talk about it. Meanwhile, 70% of Americans think that the two front runners for president are too old to be president. We think that our Congress is far too old to continue holding on to power, but a generational shift doesn't look like handing the reins even to millennials or Gen Z like most people think. It literally is handing the reins to people my parents' age to take over the country, and we're still uncomfortable doing that in Washington for some reason. Yeah, it's also interesting, you know, you mentioned absolute power corrupts absolutely, and it's like McConnell has had so much power for so long, and yet in those freeze up moments, and we've seen it with Biden too, there is this fear in there because he knows something is wrong, the people around him don't care, and it becomes this self-fulfilling prophecy. We, we will basically run this guy into the ground.